I found a couple of these in the bin, LED street lights. Of course, upon plugging in, uh, they don't work. It didn't surprise me. Um, yeah, here they got a photo cell here, and they got an LED cluster here consisting out of uh, 24 LEDs. Let's have a look inside. It's a pretty solid housing. I've been vomiting around with it already a little bit, but um, yeah. The way they made, they got a uh, fused inlet here. Then the wiring, I've taken it out. It goes through the photo cell. This is non standard uh, wire collars. From the photo cell, it follows, there's a search the, the diverter here. It goes to the fantastic electronic controller made by Philips. Um, power gets in them, but no power gets out of them. So obviously, the electronics must have died for whatever reason. As you can see in this part of the video, I got a cluster going on a 36 volt supply. Although I did stuff up, uh, I put a bit much, too much current and I popped an LED which I bridged out. So from there it goes through these two wires into DC, of course, it's directly far to DC, current limited, I guess, into the LED cluster. I'll see if I can open this up here. It's a nice uh, pivoted lid and we got a uh, cluster here, I think it's a Samsung, is it? Let's get a closer look. It's a Samsung LP41 dash whatever, I can't read all the numbers. Uh, and yeah, it's got uh, 24 LEDs on it. Okay, this was the one I played with uh, yesterday, you'll see in the later part of the video. I put this uh, cluster back together. It's made of the most substantial aluminium plate, quite thick, it's about uh, six millimeters thick, dissipating heat from the LEDs. And then there's a massive heat sink underneath here, which is uh, quite surprising, like a die cast aluminium type material. And yeah, the LEDs obviously get run pretty hot, but the LEDs still work, so um, I'm gonna discard this thing, I'll chuck it back in the bin at work and then uh, the LEDs I'm going to use for some of my nightlight experiments when we do night shift um, I'm going to convert these to like 36, 48 volt LED clusters which is uh, going to be quite handy so yeah the LED lamps they uh, I don't know they have all these life claims but these uh, these units are from 2014 they've already failed so um, it wouldn't surprise me I'm going to see more of these in the bin and I'm really only interested in the LEDs on these because I can reuse um, them again for some other projects but uh, I'm surprised how small the LEDs are they really tiny little chips as you will see in uh, uh, the later part of this video yeah okay for now thanks for watching Godalco 2007 this is the actual inside LED cluster and I made a stuff hop while testing this on the Variac, uh, one of my alligator clips didn't make good contact, so I ramped it up a bit too high and I popped one of the LEDs, as you can see here, that one popped. So I'll see if I can strap that one and get the thing to work. Oh, I've got the LED chip going. I bridged out that particular segment, which, is, which I blew up by accident. That's that one here. Running at 82 milliampere, the thing is designed to run at uh, 120 milliampere. Here we've got the close up of this LED behind the lens part itself. Um, must be a type of Fresnel lens. The chip itself is about 2 millimeters squared, something like that. It's very tiny. This is the overlook, it looks like a little volcanic island. Volcanic island, so this is the cluster. This is a little close up on the cluster, and everything else is more or less plug and play. It's all got nice little plug on connectors for uh, easy replacement of certain components.